Hello guys, I'm Nikita and today I'm going to show you the Linux PP Cook Train on the virtual box. It is based on Debian and the ISO file is same for 32 bit and 64 bit version obviously. It is a universal ISO file and the size is 501.2 MB. So let's install it or rather live put it on the virtual box here. I'm gonna give a base memory of 4GB. I'm gonna create a new virtual hard disk. I'm gonna give it 40GB here. I'm gonna increase the CPU cores as usual. Increase the video memory to 100MB. Start it and select the ISO file that is downloaded. So here's the ISO file. Just double click it and start it. So I'm going to go with the uh, second option. Let's try it. Uh, I tried installing this OS, uh, actually live booting this OS with the first option. Uh, it got stopped there only. So there was some problem. I just uh, choose this option and uh, start a terminal. Okay, so here are some of the options. So let's check out the applications here. It is a live boot session, of, uh, obviously. I didn't try to install it. So here are some applications. It is uh, there are not a lot of actually applications here. Just mm. some temporary ones and that too very uh, hazy and or and we have some games here well i suspect that the fact that there are a lot of more games than the applications itself uh, and that, well that's quite uh, amusing amusing for me because uh, uh, you can see here there are not a lot of applications but yes we have a lot of games here uh, so that's quite uh, amusing for me so let's uh, ignore that fact and move on to the other things uh, in the terminal monitors you get these in the system you have these so these are just basic applications that are not uh, useful for the uh, normal, u normal users and uh, you have these shells in the science ok and in the editors you have these uh, nano editor you have in the file manager you have these in the graphics you have image magic in the network you have IRC chat to install in the web browsing you have NetSub web browser as your default web browser and you have python and ruby pre-installed in the windows manager you have these managers let me just pause it for a while alright I'm back and uh, let's check out other things uh, so in the video man windows manager you have these managers uh, you can change the look of the windows and all uh, you have workspace indicator here you have uh, calendar here so there is not a lot, of, lot of things here pretty much the same so i guess that's it uh, yeah th it's fine that's it i just don't want to check out other things mm. so i'm gonna shut this down uh, i don't have any option to shut this down why ok uh, let's leave it so already guys thanks for watching please hit one and subscribe i'll be doing a full review of this uh, os once the stable version comes out and i'll be happily to readily to uh, readily to to be able to upload it sorry uh, so i guess that's it bye peace